hey, guys, what is up? So, I heard about this game from scouring the web. And apparently this is rated one of the like best games ever. Uh, I literally never heard of it. Um, so, I decided to give it a go. So, let's... Oh, God. Extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Very psychological, magnetic personality, but unstable. Uh, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Will create your own... I'm going to create my own character. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's how emotionally intelligent you are. Oh, God. Uh, uh, how agile you are. Uh, yes, sure. Signature skills. Oh, what, so I can pick, like, one for each? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, wield raw intellectual power to deduce the world. Uh, call upon your knowledge to produce fascinating trivia. Persuasion. Persuasion? I, right, so from what I know, I don't know a lot. Oh. Um. So I can only, I can only choose one? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm a detective. That's all I know. Uh, I'll just have to kind of keep me around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm guessing I'll get more at some point. So, persuasion. As a detective, I need to persuade people to to tell me the truth. I'm going to pers The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. There is nothing. Oh, God. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Oh, that's good. Ever. Oh, <laughs> okay, I got it. Never, ever. Uh, no, never, never, ever, 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 ever baby. <laughs> cool. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Uh, what, what was that about the ex something? creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. What so is going on? <laughs> some lurid acidic sauce. It's bloated and shameful a ball of meat surrounding you this is a terrible line of questioning and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing uh well i wanted to know X about the ex ex tenderness oh ex tenderness it is foolish of you to resurface to the loss Okay. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. <laughs> Sail with me through the abyss of pelagic zone. Uh, how long is it? You never let me go. No, I want to get off now. I like pain, burning light, and wanting things from people who don't want me. Uh, don't want to give. Do you yeah. really? Uh, I do. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? <laughs> Wait, so I killed or myself? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself, got a bit carried uh, away. That said over yourself, shit. and you read it wrong, so... Fear and apprehension. You should oh ask God. us out there first. Uh... I don't care. Somewhere in the sword, bloated man meet around you. Ascends like a fly to the ointment. Your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing. You can yeah, take man. it. You're a champion. 
Okay. Mother helped me and there's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Please now change my mind. Take no, I am not scared. The I am a champion. The of liquor rises from your mouth. And with it, an ungodly <laughs> headache. Uh. A fiery streak penetrates your skull. Oh. Trying to force your eyes open. It's a Somehow, you know what it is. A Caprice can name a motor carriage. Okay. I He's got it on. Oh, is that me? That is loud to me. Oh, I'm in my... I'm in my underpants. Oh. Oh, guys. Look away. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Uh, first things first. Let me just... Bam, 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 bam. Okay. What is this? This medium so this bottle of Commodore Red and it's empty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Oh. This real to real player is still on. Rolling empty. Let me let me look in the bath a minute. Oh wait, what's up there? I want my tie. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan. The other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Or mm -hmm. has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck you so that you may continue it. your adventures together in this strange world. Well, the blades on the fan. come squeak into a halt. And then it should be useful to catch the tie. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. If it's your friend, why was it up there? Who ties their friend to a ceiling fan? An ominous foreboding feeling fills you. I'm done. This, I, I'm done. <laughs> this, is, this is confusing, man. Wait. I don't have anything... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I definitely can level them up at some point. I'm just trying to... Oh! Oh, I'm getting dressed. Oh, I'm putting my clothes. Let's put my jacket on. Take off. you damn right that's my blazer. What's in here? You see... Bottles in the bathtub, wine and something, something. Sweet liqueur. What's that? A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. Mm -hmm. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Oh, Hot water me. sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. As you Wait, slowly there. reach your hand to abort, you clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, <laughs> and you will never be home. I want to see that. Oh, I'm so handsome. <laughs> you have no idea who this thing is, do you? Yeah, I'm a superstar. <laughs> it appears you're also dead. There's oh. clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? <laughs> Why? Uh, I Please think it won't be because I'm a superstar. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. <laughs> no, this you is what superstars do. You? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now <laughs> it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom, God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm oh, God. I'm insinuating. I'm vaguely sympathetic. <laughs> Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies. <laughs> Whatever happens. That's no right. Not even yourself. Go ahead. Try something. It's not an order. Oh, God. Uh... Like the rest of you. 
It comes from a bad place somewhere ah, in I the failed. past. That's all you know. Okay. I'm fine. So what was that? A mirror oh. hangs on the bathroom No way, wall. I don't want to do that. In it. Because that's the mirror, isn't it? Oh no, that's... Oh, that was a door. Oh, my mistake. Oh, okay. I can, I can zoom. Let's put my pants on, man. Cool. You hear a jingle. Mm -hmm. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It's just whirling in rags on the alley. That's all right, man. I didn't need the, the long old explanation. What's that? Shoes. Finally. Uh huh. I got a... Oh, hey. What's that? There's something on the table. Cool. Hello, officer. Oh, hey, baby. What's up? You want to chat? The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Uh, <laughs> no. She seems perplexed by your. There's friend. only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Because you're a police officer, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, goddamn right, I'm a policeman. Don't you forget it. Okay, <laughs> cool. I won't. <laughs> she means it. She wouldn't defy authority, however sweaty and bloated it may look. <laughs> uh, no need to be alarmed. It was just getting okay. into the you know. <laughs> Sir, you know was a police officer? you've been here for three days on official police business, as you put it. Couldn't and say. What business was that? In truth, so far, oh, okay. mostly drinking. Oh my god. Let's do it. Try the expression. Come on, why are you still doing this? I tried it. Alcohol raises testosterone levels, <laughs> especially in men. The levels remain elevated after inebriation ends and the pain begins. You see comfort. It's only natural. She puts out her cigarette. <gasps> are you going to provide me with the comfort? <gasps> I think I got... I think I scored. She looks back at you. A light glinting off her eyes. And now, it never stops. Goodbye. <gasps> oh. I thought I'd, I thought I'd seduced her with my masculine charm. She left a little, nice long s nub. Stub. Fucking hell. I'm going to go knock on her door. Let's... I can't do it. Oh, there we go. The door is closed. There is no answer. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. <laughs> Everybody in the world is doing something without you. <laughs> Beauty, don't abandon me and all this ugliness. <laughs> the door does not care. The door probably thinks you're a has-been loser too. <laughs> you feel your funny necktie becoming tighter and tighter around your neck. Uh, Still again. no answer. Oh, this door handle. can only be opened with a key. Still nothing. Still, 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 <laughs> still, Open still, up! still, still, nothing. All right, fine. I guess uh, I, my look didn't didn't charm her. How do I? Oh, there we go. Controls are slightly confusing, but you know it's all right. Where am I? I like stuff. It's quite cool. Let's go and inspect everything, man. This is where the lyrics would be. We got a karaoke mic, just waiting for someone to sing into it. I could do that. Speaking of the radio, the music is seasoned with static. Oh, wait, no. Uh, why don't it let me? There we go. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. 
People need to know your vast oceanic soul utterly. My soul is immense. And it needs through it does. by other people. This goes well with the theory that I'm developing on a down on my luck superstar person. Who is yeah. mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes. yes, yes, definitely. Sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. Who is mistakenly identified oh, okay. as a cop for his prominent... Finish thought. I'm definitely going up on stage to pose for a minute. I won't let me. Which is saddening. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance. Then that was disdain in his eyes. Even now he is purposely ignoring you. Looks oh. like he's not a fan. What a dick! Uh... <laughs> I sent you another oh, fan. No. You're a hero. A real hero cop. What do you mean Could by that, man? Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? <laughs> so not only am I a cop, yes, I'm a hero? Yes, you are. A real decorated hero. Oh, what, what did, did you do, not man? do? First you took the body down. Then you solved the murder. Then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. Hmm. Oh, yeah. it's not. <laughs> Raises his shoulders like he's about to say something more, but then gets You're right. himself. It's not. He has no respect for you personally, but this mm -hmm. man sees himself as a law abiding citizen and a competent okay. work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs, one of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Oh, was that me? Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Oh, I apologize. This is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, mm -hmm. the part of mm -hmm. the world you are in right now. Okay. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Uh, let me let me offer to help. Look, your buddy is over there. Why don't okay. you go and talk to him, okay? <laughs> Again with that insubordinate tone. Uh, what do you mean, mother? not to hear you. Concentrating on the bird. All right, man. I get it. I get it. You don't like me. I gained a healing eye up. I'll take that. I'm not going to... Uh, for a minute. Uh, okay. Doors open at six. What's this? Royal pinball machine. Okay. Let's talk to this lady before I talk to my buddy. Hello, sweetie. Oh, hello, you Angel. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Oh, okay. All right. What's up, man? A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. As you approach, mm -hmm. he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Uh, shake Hello. his hand. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize um... he's waiting for your name. Oh, God. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. <gasps> Get oh, that... creative. Concept concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor mm. rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. Oh, I thought okay, I got... Okay, then. <laughs> First it looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he um, means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. If you don't hmm. mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Uh, okay. I haven't. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. 
Have okay. you removed the dead body from the tree? Uh, apparently I have. <laughs> Look, man, you know, yeah. Uh, no. So, the body is still in the tree. This is the first yeah. time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious ah. where it has been hanging <laughs> for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Uh, how can you be so sure? I can't remember. I can uh, see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. <laughs> but I have seen officers go through worse, much worse. If you need okay. something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. After you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, mm -hmm. shouldn't you have a badge? You mean yeah. you don't have a badge? Uh, it wasn't on me. It Using wasn't on your me identification wrong. card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise. Lieutenant Kitsuragi okay. is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Okay. Is he just going to follow me? He is. Let's. Let's talk to this Hello, lady sweetie. Uh, <laughs> does that mean you You're like a me? You're man officer with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on hey. your chin. Hey, hey, silly. But Sexy. Dear, you're not for me. Oh, God, I'm right. too old and too married. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. She slaps herself on the forehead. Dina. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eyes glitter over the rims of the glass. This Lena is wacky enough. You seem to be in a chat, Jesus. Hire her on the spot. Uh, how'd you. <laughs> oh, fuck it now. How'd you like to. I don't know if you know this, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Uh. Yes, officer. You look rather dazed. Like a stunned fox. But surely <gasps> things can't be that bad. Uh, I drank so hard I forgot literally everything. Oh my. You know where we are, right? Uh, we're dead, haunting each other. That's we guess. right. And where is the Whirling and Rats cafeteria uh, itself located? We're in the city of Revshol, dear. She flashes you a worried look. Uh, How would I yeah. even begin to tell you? Revishol is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. Oh, good. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but <laughs> everyone says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. There's a pause as she studies your expression. Speaking of history, you know what year it is. <laughs> yes? Oh god, I looked on the calendar. Uh, spring of 51, all I know is we're approaching the end times. Oh god. That's right, dear. Yes. How splendid. Here, take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. <laughs> oh, I is. can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Uh, some kind of democracy. I'd like to think this is dictatorship, but something tells me it's not. We're governed by machines. <laughs> oh God, there's so much to choose. I think a cop. We are living under a cop regime. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with... A, oh, yeah. sweetie. It's really not. There used to be people who thought that way. Other people who wanted those things. Revishol yeah, is a zone of control led by an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have almost no government of our own, and certainly no dictatorship of the proletariat. But they still See. have cops. Yeah. Oh dear, this is troubling. You really yeah. ought to know that, being one yourself. There aren't any cops in Revishol, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we okay. should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> um, I don't know who all these people are like they're talking to me. Uh, so how did I do? 
You didn't do too well, dear. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you really only knew what year it is. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his note. But maybe <laughs> a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such... She means this okay. sincerely. Worrying woman. Someone more educated in sweeping matters. No. I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. You're an asshole. And you're my partner. You will tell me. Then I yes, don't know. Manager. Whatever do you mean? Or well, should be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime. Ridding backyards, of course. <laughs> Sequence killers? Oh my. She sounds impressed. But I think but... you already have a partner, sweetie. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Ah. Uh, I can assure you, with absolute certainty, <laughs> there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Now, okay. gentlemen, no need to squabble. I Three heads be are better than two. To you anyway, sweet. Thank you, but Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible. Perhaps oh, I'd want you time. on my team, man. All right. Of course, Dee. All right, I tried. Right, I need to go and find my badge. Uh, can I ask this guy if he'll the know where my badge is? The man with unimpressive beard notices you <laughs> approaching. He drops the ledger. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. Oh, here's... I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41? Uh... <laughs> Currently in between Fantastic. names. Fantastic. <laughs> like... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's wonderful, really. I think so. But there's a dead body up there. No one wants to work. Sir, okay. I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Mm. Yes, of course. Yeah, for shut up. We're, we're the police. fidget under the lieutenant's gaze. Then... He gives in. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking I see. Taking and where is this Sylvie? I want to try my superstar look on her. Number? As a matter of fact, I do. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. Mm -hmm. I'm this sure is I just, just had one of the many, many unlock. cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here, and I'm not going to stop. I didn't imply okay. that. Detective. He probably yes. means this is where you step in and ask your questions. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. <laughs> ask him about the body's location before asking if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous questions, which mm -hmm. you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Okay. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Okay. That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You okay. can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. <laughs> Does he want you okay. to feel guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. Hmm. I don't know who killed him. I'm not the This is it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they, if he doesn't know? Yeah. Oh, people are saying it was the Union dock workers, that it was a lynching. Mm, who's the saying locals, that? The customers, the people who eat here, a lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Mm. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would the dock workers... Uh, workers? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. Hmm. Kind of like you, you man. You mean the strike? 
Yes, the strike. Oh, the man they bad. hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. You get the unionist is... The lieutenant okay. turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Okay, where's... She went away because none of your business. Oh, you're going to be like that. You you're a cop? Yeah, good point. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. <laughs> That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. You grossed Thank her out, you. man. Uh, I didn't asked go an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. Uh, I guess I'd like to be thorough. I, I'm a feminist. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know. I just went for it. You're right. I probably... No, you know, Good everything for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what... No, it's that's all, man. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Not what I'm saying. Fun. The multi-pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. Let's bail! Time to push the eject button. Sounds like a responsibility. You don't like those. <laughs> what was it? Uh, oh, oh you shit. You don't owe me shit. Well, officer, you're right. You don't owe me shit. You owe me money. We do not <laughs> need to assert ourselves here. We only need instructions from him. This is the proprietor, remember? He called me a... He called me a what? Sound like extortion you to know, me. You know, I get this all the time. Some hobo comes in here <gasps> with some backpacking arsehole hey. off the boat. The next day, when they can't make their fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in this shit with a cop. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! <laughs> my tie speak to me twice. Uh, but what is money? Let's what do I owe this place for? Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 mm -hmm. real. Then yep. there's the window you annihilated. The oh, hole in the okay. window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 oh, can real you prove it with damages. Me? Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but <laughs> we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. <laughs> uh, but what exactly is, is money? brain damaged? Uh, <laughs> actually, I Money might be. is what grown-up people use to pay for things. <laughs> things like this hostel room or, or eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use what it if I don't have really. any? I don't think I have any money. There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for... That's cop four. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, so what I'm sorry, now? but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. Officer, maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have a I don't remember what my home is. I don't remember Officer, what my home is. You really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them. Ask for assistance. We have okay. good luck. Okay, I'm just uh let's go upstairs. Okay. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. Uh, but I you've been remember. at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. You don't uh, really know, do you? No, I don't. South, maybe. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Uh, I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. <laughs> uh, you can ooh. try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Okay. So, how do I... Okay, here we go. Oh, cool. I can change this shit? <laughs> I can change. Let's take this next guy off. Vivid imagination. Wait, I, I think I want the jacket off. That looks cool. That looks awful. 
Okay. Uh. Okay. 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 All right. Let's go back up and just look for my badge a minute. Nothing on the front page is ring a bell. That seems strange. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray, light it up, and smoke the <laughs> living shit out of it. Who Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster. A murderer. But she broke out the filter. How I very find. astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette. Or better yet, <laughs> an entire... The idea okay. <laughs> seems to make your neck expand. That like a cat rubbing itself against its owner's calves. A cat that wants you to... Or <laughs> you could not do that. No one is making you. Uh, well, I Good. think that... Thinking about yummy cigarettes in your mouth is the <laughs> next thing. And when you're done thinking about... Plus, smoking them gives... Fine smokes and smoke them. Okay, fine. Uh, let me... I need to find my name badge. Hold on. Kim tries to look it up. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting. The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after 9 p.m. Oh, okay. So I am going to stay here. Right. Is there anything... No, 100% I've lost my badge then. Kim also tries not to to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet or the weird suitcase on the hat rack or the potted plant <laughs> dying <laughs> in the corner <laughs> but it's all just you know, I'm just gonna say I'm oh okay I'm sorry man alright I've made mistakes oh there's a balcony let's go out here I bet my name badge is out here wait I missed it the smell of sea makes you dizzy is that my badge? Wait, wait, let me. Wait, let me. Oh, it's another shoe. Oh, I didn't realize I only had one shoe on. Wait, so I can. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, okay, yeah, I do have shoes now. Okay. Okay. Uh there they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. Ah, God. Two baby crocodiles. Wait, these do not look like it's normal cop clear. shoes. A normal cop is not what you Very true. They're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Okay, good. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's go back in. I need to. I need to find my badge before I do anything. Let's try and knock on her door again. Excuse me. Did you happen to have some cigarettes or my name badge? The door is closed. This door can only be opened with a key. Of still nothing. The lieutenant gives you a quick. He doesn't like where this is going. Still nothing. The lieutenant gives he doesn't like where this is going. This door this, this door <laughs> can only okay. fine. Nothing. Alright. So it's out of the back, isn't it? That's what he said. Hmm. Right. Oh, it's probably Oh, okay, until one o'clock. So this door? Here we go. Here we go. Anything? Why is it not on me? There we go. I could pick them up if I had a bag. No, that's locked. What's that? Yeah. That's it. Oh, okay. That's the hole. So, before we go in there, because obviously that's where the body is, I just want to have a quick look around and see if I can find my badge. Mm hmm. Mm 
No, wait, hold on. Okay. Oh my god, there's loads to do here. Let me go in here. Let me go in here, I said. There we go. Hello. Did you happen to see my, uh... Uh... There we go. Yeah, Welcome this is to quite crime, difficult. romance, and biographies of famous people. My name is Plaisance. Uh, Be nice welcome, to meet you. <laughs> and please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. <laughs> Sir, don't be ridiculous. I certainly will not give you money. Damn it. I would be doing you a grave psychic disfavor. One has to earn one's success, even if one is a police officer. Handouts and yeah, certainly there are good things to be said about dependence. <laughs> uh, damn, you're right. What kind of business relationship? Excuse me, I don't know why I said that. Now, I hey there. Things. Sounds like someone isn't taking responsibility for the energy they bring in. Fighting enemy. <laughs> My philosophy is everyone just getting along. Okay. I am. The uh, then why are you talking to me? Everything is on. She smiles <laughs> and nods, seemingly relieved. Okay. I don't think my uh my name badge is gonna be in here because she didn't recognize me so obviously i haven't been in there yet um oh there's a man i bet i know him i don't wanna mm -hmm. i could cut poles and sell them i need to find a bag <clears throat> i've seen things man some stuff Okay, nothing down here. Will you get out of my way, man? Just remember who's in charge here. All right, it's me. Anything down here? Oh, I can go up here. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, what's that? A lonely... Oh, okay. What's that? Oh, no, I don't need to go down there. What's that? There's definitely someone unlocking there. Inside the frame. Okay. What's that? There's a girl in up there. Did she spill the paint? What's up? Hey, up there, <laughs> the streets will flow red once more. How dare a you? A great torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait mm -hmm. and see. Stay. The streets will okay. not flow red with anything. Who are you? Who are you? I'm yeah, that's Cindy what I was going to say. the fucking skull. <laughs> what else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I, I was tested for hep C. <laughs> I love this game. Uh... And here yeah. I was trying to be polite. Just can't win with you pigs. Uh... <laughs> I ain't no snitch, pigstein. Go fuck and forage in someone else's shit. Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. We yeah. weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. <laughs> uh, okay. Watch your back, ungular. You've got eyes on you. I don't know what that means. What's an ungular? Can I open this? A sturdy metal door guards the south way. The door rattles knock. against your knuckles. But there's no... The door rattles again. But this time, you hear an... Stop banging on the door! I'm not letting <laughs> any more strangers... <laughs> yeah, this the is police. the police. Everyone knows the police don't come round here. <laughs> please, let me inside. It's no, cold. I already told you. I won't go mm -hmm. check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Backyard door. There must be another end. Madame, I assure you, we are real police officers. There is no reply. Madame. There is no okay. reply. 
Alright, I tried. Okay, so what's down here? Hmm. Barely. Uh, I'm wondering. Hello! This is worth more than your love, friend. Oh, thanks. A striking thanks. woman leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her Can throat. I have the scarf? Good morning, officers. I'm Joyce. Joyce oh. L. Messer. Hello. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. Oh, I'm shake glad her to hand. see you here. Her grip is tight and cold. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will. Glad. That is good to Thank hear, you. madame. My colleague that. will take the lead on this interview. Oh, I should sure, let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. So why may we take Very the lead unusual. then? But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. There's Thank a trace you. of irony in his voice. Yeah, he's a Mr. bit of a dick. <laughs> the lieutenant is hatching some How interesting. <laughs> I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation. Uh, and the full cooperation of the One Pines group. Everything, right up to, but not including, trade secrets. Uh... First, you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. It's quite the octopus. Uh, we'll just have an octopus. I'm glad here. you see it that way. To repeal the Act would mean repealing the Coalition government. The one that leases you the right to police West Revachol. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, in other words. But yeah, I am enough. derailing us. You wanted to know about the strike. Yeah. I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. Okay. How are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all ah, negotiations brilliant. a week ago. After that awful lynching took place, now they won't even mm -hmm. let me into the harbor. There's a two meter twenty racist behemoth blocking the gates. Uh... What can I say? The union employs a giant covered in tat. What can I say? The union uh, employs a giant covered in tattoos. Thing. A racist giant. I guess that's part of their big tent okay. organization now. Let's mm. say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hope. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The cool. bay was still partially oh, no, frozen then. March I prefer to do these things on site. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the union in prior mm. negotiations. I'd be this willing to make concessions for you. Strike? Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times, the union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time, their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. Ludicrous, even. Mm -hmm. It's meant. Everard Clare is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can mm. say one thing about him, it's that yes. he always puts the interest. Of course not. Everard is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. Ah, good. Uh... He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If they... Yes, Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does. And when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. It's how mm. they circumvent the term limits, you see. But all right, let's take this back to the strike. Uh, that's of all course. I need. How else can quite a few mentioned? things, I'm afraid. The information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade Ooh, secrets. Oh, yes. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Oh, God. <laughs> of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. And this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. How curious. 
Why is that, Detective? Awkwardness washes over the conversation. Uh... The woman doesn't like this turn of events. Oh, shit. I see. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? Uh... I'm gonna be oh, honest. Dear. Some kind of encephalopathic amnesia. Oh god, big words. I don't even know how to respond. Nor do I. I do believe you, naive as that may sound. I simply can't imagine what you gain by faking such a condition. As I said, man, True. his technique may be very unconventional. It is. But he <laughs> is an officer of the RCM. Of course, yes. I sympathize. But I'm afraid I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that. Hang on, fuck. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. Okay. Feelings will Fuck. guide the way. I assure you, it is no small matter for me either. We all share the responsibility for disarming this situation. I hope you have a badge for me as soon as possible. Okay, you have so much else. I only have this. Spread your hands. She's silent. The wind flaps the sail above her. Officer. <gasps> oh, she damaged my morale. Uh. You know, I don't mean to sound cold, but if you want something, you have to. You're doing it. Mm -hmm. Despite your own best efforts, you're. St I'll be okay. frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something tangible. The like Union what? is conducting drug trade out of the harbor. It's an open secret in Martinez. Surely mm -hmm. it must not come as a complete surprise to the RCM either. Perhaps it's time to look into all. Okay. You can find your back. Detective, a word in private before we continue. Okay. All right, let's go, man. Let's just. Okay, before we carry on, I'm going to end the video here. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. Really enjoying this game, so definitely gonna carry on. Peace. He's the fox that rocks your f***ing socks off. It's never game over. It's the master. No, no.